Top 8 Types of Honeybee for Health Benefits The FAO Codex Alimentarius Commission defines honey as, the natural sweet substance produced by honeybees from the nectar of flowers or from secretions coming from living organisms feeding on plants, that bees gather, transform and combine with specific ingredients, store and leave to ripen in the combs of the hive. In Ayurveda honey is called as, madhu. Its qualities are explained as follows. Vesala Guru Sheet Am Cha Raktapita Kafapaham. Sandhatru CC Hadanam Ruksha Kasha Yam Maram Madhu. It has sweetness, madhuri rasa, with added astringent as end taste, kashaya and rasa. It is heavy, guru guan, dry, ruksha, and cold, sheet. Its effect on dashes is as follows it aggravates vat, scrapes cough and normalizes pitta and rita. It promotes healing process. The contents of honey are 1. Sugars like fructose, glucose, sucrose, maltose, lactose and other disaccharides and trisaccharides. 2. Proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals, enzymes and amino acids. 3. Volatile aromatic substances. 4. Ashes and water etc. Various ingredients of honey have helped it to become not only a sweet liquid but also a natural product with high nutritional and medicinal value. The medicinal quality, taste, texture, color, aroma of honey differs according to the geographical area and the species of plants from which it has been collected. Types of honey Eight types of honey are described in Ayurveda depending on the type of bee which collects it. They are Padaka, Chimera, Chandra, Makila, Charta, Arshia, Odalaka, Dale. Potaka. This honey is collected by very large bees from the nectar of poisonous flowers. It increases vat, causes gout and burning sensation in chest. It is also sedative and reduces fat. Chimera. This honey is collected by large bees and sticky in nature. Chandra. Honey collected by medium-sized honeybees, light and cold in nature. Dissolves cough. Makila. Honey collected by small honeybees, very light and dry natured. Useful in atakapa diseases and cough diseases. Charta, heavy and cold in nature, useful in gout, leucoderma, shweta. Arshia, good for eyes but causes arthritis. Otolaka, useful in skin diseases, and helps in modulation of voice. Dale, dry and reduces vomiting. Amongst all the above, makila, is considered as the best type with immense medicinal properties. Therapeutic uses of honey. 1. As it contains sugars which are quickly absorbed by our digestive system and converted into energy, this can be used as instant energizer. 2. As it is hygroscopic it speeds up healing, growth of healing tissue and dries it up. 3. Honey acts as a sedative and is very useful in bedwetting disorders. 4. Honey is very good antioxidant which restores the damaged skin and gives soft, young looks. 5. Honey has antibacterial properties due to its acidic nature and enzymically produced hydrogen peroxide. 6. Constant use of honey strengthens the white blood corpuscles to fight bacteria and viral diseases. In Ashtanga Ridhe the great classic of Ayurveda, the therapeutic uses of honey are explained as follows. If you feel exhausted and want something fresh to release all your fatigue, why don't you take a teaspoonful of honey and add to your tea, then drink it. You are going to feel better then. It's not difficult to find honey as it is easy to get and available everywhere in the market. In fact, honey has been a part of the commodity in the ancient century. They used honey for different purposes such as for health treatment, food and beverage, and other useful matters. Nobody has doubts the usefulness of this sweet viscous fluid produced by bees. Honey makes a good alternative to sugar in food and beverages. Honey is a source of nutrition. It contains many enzymes, vitamins, minerals and amino acids, as well as fructose, glucose, and water. In addition, honey also contains antioxidants that can fight free radical from human body. Free radical are molecules that attack human healthy cells. Current research on honey has shown it's beneficial as an antimicrobial agent that can treat different kinds of ailments. The most common use of honey as an antimicrobial agent is to treat wounds, burns and skin ulcers. If you like more video again please to do so right for next.